drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos as we seen the first example and we'll be moving to the second example now yeah second example of javascript yeah here it is as i already told you h1 represents the header one so this is what h1 indicates the same example will add h1 to it so we already have an example over here so what you're going to do is we had a html tag okay h1 is nothing but an html tag once we open the tag we have to close that yeah okay and uh, we have closed it and we're going to refresh that page and we're going to see how it is working yeah see the text has been changed now so this is nothing but a header part the h1 so this is my first javascript so this is how we do if you want to add a html content also inside it we can do it so we'll see the next example so next example is like this so what we are trying to do is we are trying to write a body html tags purely html tags now okay and uh, on click on that so we'll see how the data is coming up so we'll be using this tag so we'll see the third example so input form yeah this form we'll see later but before that we'll see the things which we have seen now okay in the body part we have taken a paragraph and we're going to include that in our body now we are removing javascript we are now concentrating on purely on html okay so here what i have done is i have taken a paragraph p and a a is nothing but anchor tag anchor tag means uh, it can have a references when you see uh, in facebook or google in when you search for the results you'll get a list of uh, websites related to that so when you click on that when you click on that uh, you'll be it will be navigating to some other website right so that references have been given here so you can have the h reference of this okay so now what this code means is that you'll be seeing my page and you'll be seeing my page two my pages so let me uh, rewrite this to two this is a second and i'm saving it so once you click on my page it will be navigating to my file.html my file.html is another web page to one web page to another web page navigation is done like this and here also my page html it will go but on mouse over you'll get a window alert like hello alert how window dot alert looks we'll see so i'm going to refresh this and see we have provided two links there my page and my page 2 so when i say my page it will be going to my page file because it's not not existing so when we go back yeah hello symbol comes this is a alert actually so when this alert comes is like when i go to my page on to when i do mouse over when i do mouse over it will be coming see i'm removing that when i go to mouse over this will hello comes okay so when i do on my page no nothing mouse over will come because we have done it for the my page too when i i uh, see here we go so like this this is nothing but a mouse over event and we are placing a alert javascript alert alert looks like this okay hope it is clear now and we'll move to the next example so this is how uh, basically the interaction is done so next example what i have done is so i have taken a name and the name will be shown now okay so we'll be using this everything there okay so we'll be writing in the this body only okay, i'm placing it i've taken a script javascript window dot prompt enter your name whatever you write it here right so it will be placed it here 
hello form okay when you press that your name will come you will see how this example works and then i'll take you to the code okay enter your name the window prompted first only so enter your name john miller you say hello the press button comes so say hello that's it so nothing happens it has only press now this was only press on press it gives a hello alert and window prompts just the window prompts that's it so we'll do an example now how whenever in input box when you write your name your name appears on the like this prompts your name prompts so we'll do that example as well okay i'm just checking that with the example so this is a form we'll be doing okay here i have taken a forms form is nothing but you can take uh, if you have applied for passport there'll be a form okay the form that is a form we are using like there'll be text boxes text fields text areas so many things so in htm also there is a design called form so the form area comes so what i'm trying to take is like i have given a name to this form okay and uh, i wanted to enter your name in this there is an input field called text your name right and then input button when you say go then see document dot alert form so what it does is document it's always document when you get something the values or something if you want to use any javascript it's always document dot get element document is always used okay so document dot alert form alert form is nothing but this name and your name so in this it will check a name your name dot value value of this will come okay hope it's clear i'll explain once again so whenever you write a javascript anything if you want to get a value of any text boxes or anywhere so you'd always use document dot if you want a value from a text box by id so you'll use document dot get element by id i'll tell you that document dot get element by id or document dot get element by class like that you use okay and uh, here what we are trying to do is we are using a name so document dot name name is alert form and in this alert form you have a user name your name so your name so in this value you want this text value to get the value of this you use dot value okay so we'll refresh this so we got the name enter your name so you'll be using your name uh, greek okay when you say go what it try to do is you'll get this value and display there okay i say go yeah yeah so we'll see the unexpected token okay. we'll see what is unexpected token So this is how we debug also. When you say go, it comes here, and there is an unexpected token. Yeah, this is the one unexpected token. Okay, we're gonna change. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna refresh this. Okay, we're gonna refresh this. We'll say when. I type something. See, hello, when, when. Okay. All right. This is how we debug also. I'll tell you in detail how to debug and everything. Okay. Uh, in SAP UI5, basically your goal is to learn SAP UI5. 
when I introduce SAP UI 5, then you need to know some basics on HTML5 and JavaScript. That's the re main reason to take you through this examples. Okay, let's say okay. I'll close this. Okay, so I'll try it. Greg Chapel. Yeah, don't worry about the spelling. <laughs> and hello, Greg Chapel. The whatever you're right. Yeah, it go. Okay, so there was an error. This is how you debug and you check. So this is what, so we have seen the forms also. You don't have to get into that in detail. So this is how the form looks basically. Have this idea, the form looks. See, when form, it has an alignment, proper alignment. See name, phone, email, text boxes are coming in some proper order. So we we'll just see this example and we'll finish it off for this JavaScript. And I'll tell you what you have to take from this session that is more important. Yeah, I'm going to yeah write it here. So I've taken the form and I'm going to save. I've taken a name for this form. And I've given a name, phone, and email. So we'll see how it goes. Up, see the alignment name, phone, email. The proper alignment comes. Right? This is all properly aligned. That's the reason we use forms. And we use tables also. Okay. Cool. So good. And we'll move to next. So you want to get the name of this. Then you write like I've I told you right document dot address form dot your name dot value. You can try yourself. Okay, so what we have done previously, I'll share you the examples. You can uh, have a look. See, you just have to change it. That's it. We have used right document dot address form dot your name dot value. You can have the phone also like this, email also like this. But you have to name it. So how to name it? Here we have see names. Okay, this is how you have to do it so this is how you retrieve the data and see we have already done this so enter your name hello Jane right etc we have done this example and here is the tips today what we have done is we have learned what is HTML how the HTML looks and uh, why it is HTML5 because it's a newly introduced version. 5 is nothing but a version. And then we moved on to JavaScript. And JavaScript we see in a basic examples how we interact, how we write a statement in JavaScript. So, sorry, these are basic things which you need to know before getting on to SAP UI5. CSS is nothing but style, you will be using it. So, whenever you, I say CSS, you will be writing style over here. Yeah, style. And you'll be closing that tag. Call this. Yeah. Style like this. Okay. And uh, here we have some color tag. Yeah, color blue. You'll be using. Okay, this is how you write. And the color is blue. Okay, so we'll use this class in any of uh, the name. Yeah. Yeah, span class always use. Uh, there is a span means you are having a name inside that span so if you want to add uh, add this class so we have to use span class because it has to have some area where it is so suppose name is there how we add a color to it it doesn't so it has to be some class included so if you want to add class on the go so you have to do like this color blue so I've seen so let me refresh this. 
yeah we have to check so color blue okay we can add the color yeah we can have the color like this color blue see the color blue this is how you write the CSS so this is how the beauty of CSS is so we can have a color so if you add the color is changed yeah see that's how so this is how we use color CSS this is how we use CSS okay so we have seen a basic example of HTML5 and basic example of uh, JavaScripts and CSS how it is used so with the combining these three SAP have introduced a framework called SAP UI 5 okay so let us start what is SAP UI 5 and uh, how SAP UI 5 applications are built what is required for SAP consultant uh, everything will be seeing it throughout the next session in our next session sorry okay thank you